the BOE, in Mark Carney's view, will probably have to loosen policy over the summer post-Brexit. Yep, I think that's, that was always the most likely outcome following the referendum result. Um, he doesn't speak for the MPC as a whole, but is there any reason to think that the other people wouldn't think the same? Not in our view. So I, I think the most likely outcome here is loosening in August, uh, possibly a 25 basis point rate cut, but not much further below that because of the risk to bank. He did also say we will consider, I quote, a whole host of other measures. Give us an idea, Jamie, what those other measures could be. Well, I think the go-to option is something like the TLTRO, the funding for lending scheme that the Bank of England has, has had before, something that encourages banks to lend because some of their balance sheets will be under pressure a little bit from the, bank, uh, from the equity sell-off of the banking sector. Um, so something that tries, puts a, a floor under lending and tries to support its growth would be a sensible thing to do. I don't think it's the time for QE now, but I think at least setting out its, the, the options and the possibilities is a sensible thing to do in August. Yeah, some of the interesting comments he made was to point out that this was not the last crisis and so don't jump to any conclusions about what the Bank of England might decide to do, right, Jamie? The pound dropped about 1.2%, the FTSE 100 rose. Does that tell us anything more about what the market thinks the BOE will do over the summer? The pound dropped, the FTSE rose. Does that tell us anything of how the market's uh, assessing today and the events of the last few days? Well, it, it wasn't guaranteed. I don't think that there would be a rate cut in August. But some people may have thought that uh, that was off the cards potentially. But I think really that's just, it's really just cemented that. Um, I, I, he's been pretty clear about what his intentions are over the summer. Yeah, he said that the lower exchange rate, now he made it very clear that he wasn't commenting on the current level of sterling. He did say the market functioned and that sterling needed to find a new level based on the opinion of traders. But he did say that the current exchange rate, the lower exchange rate, will lead to lower real incomes. That's not even in question. So will the Bank of England be so concerned about that 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 will push them to do something? Um, well, there's nothing that the UK can do about this. This is a permanent shock to incomes. The exchange rate is lower because of permanent impacts on the UK economy from Brexit. Um, you can't offset that. You can't get richer using monetary policy this way. So the only thing he'll be able to do is to loosen policy and hope that, that the damage to demand that this causes isn't too serious. Give us an idea, and you wrote a wonderful piece months before Brexit materialised on the potential impact on the economy of Brexit, Jamie, and uh, the bank said today, Carney said today, there'll be a material slowing, his words, that's now the BOE's central forecast. Uncertainty may have more persistent drag on activity and uncertainty could remain elevated for some time. Just to remind us of the, the economic scenario, the economic fallout that could take place here in the next year, two years, five years and beyond. Absolutely. So. So Mark, like the key thing here is, is slowing, the word slowing. Now, that doesn't, to me, suggest that the bank thinks there's going to be a contraction. It's, it's different. And actually, that's the view that Bloomberg, at Bloomberg Intelligence, that's our view too. We think there'll be a slowing, but no deep recession, no serious slump. Um, so from, from here on out, we think that growth will, will slow markedly, possibly to 0.1, maybe even zero on the quarter. Uh, for, Q2, uh, for Q3 and Q4, but thereafter we'd expect some improvement as uncertainty recedes. Now we think uncertainty is going to last a long time. There's no clear plan that the government has. Negotiations could take a very long time to come together. Uh, and so we think the effect's going to be quite long lasting, but we don't expect there to be a significant recession in the And UK. the spillovers, which Carney also spoke about, Jamie, Carney sees a risk of spillovers to other economies from the UK. Just spell out for us how this impacts monetary policy elsewhere among the big central banks. Well, as we all know, the UK is a small economy. It's, I think, it's like 4% of world GDP. So the direct impact should be fairly limited, even on the euro area. But the, the bigger risk is that you have a tightening of financial conditions. We've seen it with the, the equity sell-off, and that that starts to contaminate demand and confidence and sentiment elsewhere. So really, it's not the direct effects of the UK economy's slowdown. It's the, it's the general effects on sentiment. And actually, we're just revealing fragilities that were always there. They never went away. It's just that people are now focusing on them more uh, carefully.